we all know that uh, becoming overweight is a very common problem uh, as we get older. And clearly we, we recommend that an improvement in uh, lifestyle, which means more exercise, uh, better eating habits, the avoidance of junk food. Those are the first steps that should be taken. But there's some people who have tried all that and they still have difficulty losing weight. And, and despite what the mainstream medicine has said, uh, HCG, uh, used in the context of weight loss as human chorionic gonadotropin, is <clears throat> a program that was uh, started by Dr. Simeons, uh, I think back in the 1950s. And I remember hearing about that <clears throat> in medical school, and everybody poo pooed it, said, no, you don't use that for uh, weight loss. But uh, it works. Uh, it's very low, low, low doses of uh, HCG is used on a daily basis, injected. And it works with, in, a, in accordance with the diet. Uh, yet mainstream medicine uh, will say, oh, it's dangerous. Uh, you're, you're limiting your caloric intake. The interesting thing is that when you talk to patients that have been through the program, they never felt better. Uh, again, I think we're getting more into the, the politics of medicine, especially with weight loss. I mean, weight loss is, is behind so many illnesses that people have that the medical establishment uh, thrives on. You know, the high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, diabetes, all associated with weight gain. So what would happen if we made everybody healthy? not really in the interest of mainstream medicine, but it's in the interest of every patient, I would think, to want to get off their medications. After all, that's why they come here. We really are proactive in trying to get people off their medications. And one of the best ways to do that is to have them lose weight. So if they lose the weight, they get off the medications, and they feel better.